Hey guys, how is everyone doing? I have a small, excuse me, that was my chair. <laughs> I have a small eBay and Michael's haul and a surprise. Mm. So I've been watching Dee Dee's videos and you know, you just have to get everything that Dee Dee has. Dee Dee Willingham, um, if you guys are involved in the art and coloring, adult coloring community here on YouTube, then you most likely know who Dee Dee is. She's a fabulous artist and does amazing mixed media in her coloring books, her adult coloring books, and she just does beautiful work. So, I got four of these Posca pens. I ordered them from eBay and I think it was $14 for the four of them to be shipped from Korea and it only took maybe about a week, week and a half. I'd have to look at the dates, but uh, these are water-based, whoop, water-based pens. Is this the one I opened? Yeah. And I got the one with a fine tip. They come in all different colors and sizes, um, but they're really nice to use in mixed media. See? And then I, my water brushes that I had are just falling apart. So I found these on eBay. And there's a number one, two, three, four, seven, and a 10 in this pack. And I think I paid, well, it's definitely under $10 to have them shipped. I think these also came from Korea. Hmm, well, let's get this open. Oh, it's tape shot. So these seem like they're really nice. I haven't tried them, uh, but they have a nice long barrel for your water and a nice big brush. This will be nice for doing backgrounds or large work. And the seven, that's the 10. Here's the seven. It's a smaller flat brush. And I ruined one of my pictures by using my old water brushes. I might show that at some point. But So I got the set of water brushes. And then I went to Michael's on Friday night because I just wanted some more coloring books. And I was just kind of lonely. Mike is in Alaska now. And so I don't know if you've seen these yet. These are by Creatology and regularly $4.99. They have these on sale for 40% off, so they came out to $2.99. And there are 24 pages. And what I like about these, I like the artwork, but I also like that this paper is very thick. It's almost like watercolor paper, and these are perforated. It's as, almost as thick as water, a thinner watercolor paper, but it doesn't have the watercolor texture. It's a smooth, smoother texture. But these are really cool. I was pretty impressed with these. And they had another one that was Sweets, and Corey, Corey Scherer, I thought about you. Okay, sorry about that. I'm not sure where it left off. I apparently needed to delete some stuff off of my memory card, which I should remember to do every time, but I rarely do. So, as I said, they had these in the, uh, with a lot of sweets, and I thought about Corey, Corey Share. Um, but these would be great to use mixed media water. Uh, you could use watercolors or um, the Crayola Super Tip water based markers. Regular alcohol markers, colored pencils. So I thought these are really fun. So you could do something in here if you want to. Your own little thing, little scooter. I love this one. This is what, um, look at that, that is so cool. And this was more in the kids section at Michael's. Lighthouse. England, London. I love London. Nice. This is the one. This is the one that I that made me buy it. Although I like a lot of the pages in here. So there's that one. That is World Traveler. Looking possum. 
and again 24 pages <laughs> so I think these will handle a lot of mediums really well of course with your alcohol markers you want to but the, you can tear these out and like I say these are nice and thick um, if you want to use alcohol markers on them such as sharpies or copics or spectrum noirs whatever you want to use super smart that's cute Whenever I see giraffe pictures now, I think about April, who gave birth online. <laughs> Super cute pictures. And $3 for 24 of these images, or pages, I mean. I really, really like it. And they're perforated, so there's that. And then they had all of the Michaels exclusive um, books for... $3.99 and this one's normally $9.99. So I think this may have a lot of repeats for the other dog book that I have from them. But then they have this side of the book. And this is different from anything I have, so I thought these were fun. Yeah, their coloring book selection was pretty awesome. I mean, awful, not awesome. They didn't have much at all. They did have a lot of uh, spiritual, biblical, uh, religious coloring books, which were really nice, but I like to do more fun pages. There's Bruno. I'll have to uh, use him as my model. And I just love the frame around with the paws. Here's a cute little cat. So really cool book. <laughs> so there's that one. And then this one I pull, pulled, paid full price for just because I wanted something. So this is the Celebration Edition, and the Harry Potter, and Gryffindor, and so they have some color examples to help inspire you. My phone's ringing. So these are the pictures for inspiration and color ideas. It's neat that they have photos from the movies. Isn't that cool? I know I'm going through this pretty fast. Oh boy, I've seen some videos of people are doing a flip through specifically to a book and they're just going like this and you just can't even see the page. So. If you want a more in-depth flip through of this book, let me know. The pages are the cream, almost yellow color, and a nice thick, thicker um, body to it. Double-sided. Some are two-page spreads. That one, woo! <laughs> so this has a combination of the buildings and the people and the creatures and so a really nice book and this was $15.99 here are all the kids little posters or whatever there's the Quidditch page so, and this one I like because it doesn't have a lot of those wallpaper type pictures that I'm never going to color. So, this book has really good, well, there's one, but it doesn't have a lot of them. So, 
there is that. And then, last but not least, I bought some Prismacolors from Corey. She let me know, not Prismacolors, Polychromos. I, I'll be back. Sorry about that, although it didn't take any time away from you. But Corey had some extras because she had bought a couple of sets of the Polychromos and had some extras, and so she wanted to sell them to make some money to buy other stuff. So she sold these to me at a really good price. There are 26 of them, and then she put them in this really cool, I love this pencil case. I'm going to keep them in here. Maybe someday I will get a big set of them, but I haven't even used them. I've had them for over a week, and they have been sitting in there because I wanted to do this video and do, do say, a, not a demo, but just a, an initial, a first impression. So I think I'll just these up here. I don't want to break them. And they came without any breakage. So this is my first time trying a Polychromos pencil. So this is a uh, light yellow glaze. Oh, I had one stuck under there. So I'll go ahead and lay it first. Oh, these are nice. Uh-oh. I have the big set of the um, Prisma colors that I've had for a long time, for a few years now, and I got them at a really good deal at Michael's or Joann's. I think they were in the clearance and I snatched them up for practically nothing. And I have some of the Prisma color watercolor pencils and markers. So that is really nice. I have to turn my page, guys. I'm sorry. I'm left-handed, and and when I color, I turn my page or my book around a lot. So yeah, I'm liking these. Thank you, Corey. Thank you for helping me out and I hope it helped you out but these are beautiful and these are the oil base so I'm so excited to have these and to be able to color with them wow they are smooth I'm gonna have to do a side-by-side -side comparison for myself because I have the um, the Faber-Castell Classic Color pencils, which are also supposed to be oil-based like these. And, uh, yeah, these are really nice. Wow, they blend so nicely. It's effortless. I'm hardly putting any pressure on the pencil. Oh, okay, so this is, I should tell you, leaf green, and this one is light green, and the barrel of the pencil definitely feels bigger than the um, my other Faber-Castells or my Prismacolors, and these are beautiful. So, I don't know, maybe for my birthday or for Christmas, I'll ask for a, a big set of them. And maybe I'll get a big set of these someday. Yeah, so I was uh, working on a page that I had printed out. It's a Molly Harrison picture. I really like her grayscale pictures. And I was working on that and so I added some 
at the Prismacolor watercolor pencils and I didn't really like the way it turned out so I sprayed it all with water, um, the whole thing, and let it dry, let the colors kind of mingle and let it dry. And it was interesting, I'll have to show you one of these days what happened. But anyway, that's kind of a sucky demo. But I'm so happy to have these, oh my God. Now I just wanna, instead of doing my chores that I need to do now, I just wanna sit down and color and play with these. I'm gonna go over to the other house. It's Saturday today. I'm gonna to go over to the other house and work on, uh, wow. Work on my craft room some more. This would just be a, a sample page for me anyway. I wouldn't seriously color this. That's what I do in my in my new books especially, is I will test out. How different media performs on pages like this. So anyway guys, so I have all of these beautiful new goodies to play with and again thank you Corey. You're such a good friend and I really value our friendship and yeah you guys just take care. Happy Mother's Day to everyone who's a mom or a grandma or even if you're a pet mom, a furry mom. Happy Mother's Day to everyone and uh, my mom passed away in 2007, so this year in November will be 10 years for my mom, but yep. All right, guys, well, thanks so much for watching. Thanks to all of my new subscribers. My name is Joan, and I live in Las Vegas, and yeah, so welcome to everyone who's new, and thanks for coming back to all of my regular subbies, and I will just talk to you in my next video. Bye!